So being a digital nomad, obviously you want to have the best internet speeds. So we're happy to invite uh, Renato Totic from Hervaski Telecom, who is the head of smart cities and digital transformation for Dubrovnik, who will tell us a bit more about what's going on uh, with Hervaski Telecom in terms of making sure that this, these internet speeds and availability, as Nick pointed out, uh, is everywhere and easily accessed by digital nomads. Um, thanks for joining us today, Renato. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like uh, to say hello to uh, great, as I, say, as, as I can see, 75 participants oh, yeah. all around the world. And of course, I welcome you, all of you who are present here on behalf of Creation Telecom, which is uh, national and the uh, number one telecom provider here in Croatia, and of course, my personal name. Uh, as you can see, my name is Renato, but uh, according to my, the root of my uh, name, I'm not Italian, I'm a resident, and I'm, uh, I have been living here in Dubrovnik since I was born. But uh, uh, I'm, as Jan said a few, a few seconds ago, uh, unfortunately, I cannot be a real digital nomad, but uh, considering the policy of my company, I'm acting as uh, some kind of corporate digital nomad uh, because the uh, main office of my company is in Zagreb. And uh, during uh, my presentation, uh, I will show you the beauty of my office. So you will see my presentation uh, was made very carefully uh, because there is a lot of pictures. And uh, during the presentation, I will show you, as I said, my working, uh, working place. Uh, and I would like uh, to invite you, you and all around the world, uh, digital nomads to come here and to share that uh, my, my working place. Uh, so, uh, first of all, as you can see, this is a beautiful island called near Dubrovnik. It is also one part of my office. Uh, but first, let's clear some very important thing. Please, another slide. What if you have to live entire day without any of those utilities, but you can choose only one utility that will work. I suppose, especially if you can predict which day, uh, probably uh, you will choose telecommunication. So uh, today, I think that that is an essential utility, uh, especially for digital nomads. Also, uh, we are all aware that our life tremendously changed, especially in the last few years. So the way how we are living, how we are paying, how we are traveling, and all of these are uh, connected to four main technologies. Uh, I should say mobility, cloud computing, social networking, and big data or artificial intelligence. And all of these technologies are co uh, closely uh, connected to telecommunication. So that is the reason why is this essential utilities for our living and of course for digital nomads. So please, let's go to another slide. So this is also my office. And how we are supporting all this story, uh, what we are doing concrete in Dubrovnik, what is the relationship with Creation Telecom and City, not only Dubrovnik, but I will talk about Dubrovnik. So first of all, uh, we have to understand our partner, our user, uh, and that is very important to know how to react what to provide them. We are together, so City of Dubrovnik and Creation Telecom are well understand each other. So we are co-creating many 
projects, many ideas, and of course, we are able to provide the uh, right service right service to our, of course, customers. So, uh, we strongly believe, next slide, please. We strong, strongly believe that the Brovnik is to become the resilient city. What does it mean? Uh, resilient city is the city uh, who is, uh, able to adapt, recover, and uh, predict future shock, especially uh, when you are cons considering global economic, environmental, uh, social, and institutional shocks. We are living in time on COVID, so we have learned a lot of, about it. Because of that, uh, we, uh, we understand this nomad story uh, as uh, one small step for the recovering whole economy, but it's a big step to change our mindset, mindset uh, and some kind of reaction of divers diversification of economic activities of city because uh, we are living here for years and our main activity here in Dubrovnik is of course tourism. Now we are aware that we have to find some way to change our, to change our mind and to find another solution. And one of these solutions is of course uh, ICT, information and communication technology and uh, communication and hosting of digital moments is very important of that. So, of course, we are helping, we are supporting city in two ways. One is infrastructure. Creation Telecom is the biggest private investor in creation economy, as you can see on the table. So, we in the last five years, invested more than 8.5 billion kuna in infrastructure. And uh, considering Dubrovnik, which is very important, we have a grant 93 million kunas, which will cover 12,196 uh, 12, users, we will cover with fiber optic. Uh, target speed we are trying to reach is 100. At the moment, as you can see, on the top, every speed of internet in Dubrovnik is around uh, 30 megabits per second. And mobile network, very, very highly, 86.05 megabits per second. So a respectable seed, but we are going to be better. Uh, the second way we are helping the city, we are trying to improve the quality of life in destination. And we will do it, how? Through the digital citizen services, security infrastructure and services, public infrastructure, mobility services, information and digital entertainment services. So a lot of, lot of projects based on information and communication technology. And let's see, for example, last year we have implemented the first project in the world, smart parking. Smart parking is not something new, but smart parking in NBIOT network with 1,900 sensors we have implemented in the world. This is number one spot in the world, NBIOT network. Let's see another project, which is very interesting. We are, we have a great coverage of smart beans in Dubrovnik. We are taking care about smart waste and recycling, and we are keep going on. So that is the way how we are using technology to raise a level of awareness of our community. And of course, uh, 
by far for you, this is a very interesting also for you. We even uh, here in this place have our Wi-Fi uh, hotspot. Uh, as you can see, uh, 33 uh, access points all around town and we are continually uh, to improve our coverage, but Wi-Fi. So these are three projects just to, uh, to give you idea what we are doing, how we are so supporting. And uh, definitely it's very, very important for you to know that we are committing and that uh, through, the, uh, through the support to cities all around Croatia, not only Durban, we are also supporting your mission uh, and your, your, your intention to come here uh, and to share your life with us and doing business uh, in Croatia. Thank you very much, Renato. So that is the way how we are creating the world of better opportunities. Thank you very much. So as you can see, uh, a lot of investment going into Croatia. Someone mentioned earlier the combination of the new and the old coming together, the digitalization of all over Croatia. Right?